Hi, welcome to another episode of David Rides a Trike. I'm David and I'm riding a trike. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, give you a short introduction. If you're familiar with it, then you could skip ahead to the main content. There's a skip intro link down in the description on YouTube. I make videos trying to motivate people, especially those with chronic illnesses and disabilities, to get outside, get some fresh air, and uh, get some exercise, because doing so usually is therapeutic. Personally, I fall into both the chronically ill and disabled categories. I was diagnosed as a type 1 diabetic when I was a year and a half old. I had a pancreas transplant when I was 41 that cured me of diabetes. I've had three organ transplants in all. I, I am legally blind. I had stage 3 cancer a few years ago. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Not too long. I am legally blind. I had cancer a few years ago, stage 3 cancer, that was successfully treated with surgery and chemotherapy. I've had a long list of surgeries, procedures, and hospitalizations, and I'm currently fighting stage 4 cancer that is spread throughout my body. That's being treated with chemotherapy, but as you can see, I can still get out to ride. So today is a very special day. It's the inaugural DRAT, David Rides a Trike, ride, and I am headed toward it right now. Um, I am literally shocked that there are over 70 people signed up for this. People actually coming in from different parts of the country. Hang on just a moment. On your right, behind you. I am riding up to the starting point, which is about six and a half miles from my home. There we will meet for a while and then head off for our ride. We're going to ride about 12 and a half or 13 miles one way up to a forest preserve where they have a beer garden, perhaps have a brew. We'll have some bagels served there and then we'll head back. Right now, the temperature, keep in mind it's June 12th, the temperature is, when I left, was 58 degrees, so it's a little on the chilly side, but at least it's uh, not supposed to rain. It's supposed to be cloudy until about six o'clock, so unfortunately we won't get any sun, but I don't think we'll get any rain either, which is a good thing. All right, so uh, that's it for now. Once I'm up at the forest preserve where the ride is taking place, I'll check in again. Honestly, so many people 
have signed up and come out here today, and uh, some were shot by as well. And I'm very proud to have my wife Debbie here with us today. Yeah. My son Lenny, where is Lenny? I'm here. I'm here. We were supposed to have his wife Allie, but she is homesick with scratch. Uh, my sister Judy, who was supposed to be here, um, sprained her ankle, so she couldn't, she's at home. But instead, we have our friends Lisa, who has moved somewhere, uh, and uh, Amy Mizell, who was over here. And by the way, Amy and her husband Harvey, who is going to be riding with us, donated and had these hats made. So thank you to them. And, and Harvey, just a side note, runs a phenomenal organization, a couple of organizations called the Living Kidney Donors Network and a website called Having Your Kidney Donor Find You. And he has dedicated his life to helping people in need of a kidney transplant find a living donor. Um, when I started making these draft videos back in early 2020, the pandemic was just beginning. And literally the only time I left my house was to go to doctor's appointments or to ride my trike. And I started making these videos and I thought I'd get maybe 100, 200 subscribers and a few hundred views. And I thought I'd get some into some conversations with people about uh, trikes from people who, like me, were interested or obsessed with recumbent trikes. <coughs> and when I first started, I wanted to motivate people, especially those with chronic illnesses and disabilities, to get out, get some fresh air, some exercise, and do something that would make them feel good. And those things started to happen. I, I started getting comments and emails from people saying, yeah, I watch your videos and I took my bike or trike out and for a little while I forgot about my medical problems. And on top of it, it was fun. And that was really what I wanted to do. Wanted to do. And those of us riding these three-wheel contraptions I think get a little more fun, but we'll set that aside. <laughs> um, but it wasn't until late 2021, when I got my most recent cancer diagnosis, that I really noticed that a sense of community had developed among this group. It was at that time that I realized that everyone who was commenting and emailing me, you guys, were motivating me as much as you said I was motivating you. So thank you all for that. Uh, thank, thank you. Love you back. I, I can't see where you are, but I love you. <laughs> Now I've lost my place in my speech. Uh -oh. uh, and when I... Just start from the beginning. <laughs> and then a few people started saying they'd like to ride with me, and I'm like, they're, they're being nice, you know. And then I was getting more and more messages like that, and I kind of played with the idea, and I thought, well, maybe I'd get 12 people to come out. And I never thought I'd get 70 people signing up for this, which just is crazy. So I'm so grateful for all of you for coming out, for watching my videos, and for being a part of the special community. So thank you. I welcome you to ride with me. And now let's ride.
Well, oh shit. I wanted to take my mask off. I forgot I wanted to take my mask off. Hang on, I'm pulling over a second. 